How's it going everybody? My name is Release Radar and welcome to a benchmark video of more modern AAA games on the Steam Deck. We're going to take a look at Cyberpunk, Spider-Man, and a bunch of other games. So, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start out with Spider-Man Remastered. Um, this game is so much fun. I beat it on the PlayStation when it was out on PlayStation and now I'm playing it again here on the Steam Deck. But uh, I'm going to load up my 100% save so you can see how well it runs. But we are in the city and we are just cruising at around 30 frames, which, you know, isn't amazing, but still very playable for this game, honestly. Like, I wouldn't recommend playing it below 30 frames. My but... friends, the Rhino and the Scorpion are back behind bars. But only after wreaking unimaginable havoc in a reckless rampage with spider -Man. Hopefully, they'll never see daylight again. I'm going to wait for Jonah to stop talking. <laughs> Normal humans can't stand against the lights of the rhino. So, here's my proposal. You've heard of police dogs, right? Now bear with me. We train, outfit, and deploy police rhinoceroses. <laughs> you got a rhino? We got a rhino too, baby! I thought he was going to say police elephants, to be honest. Oh man, I mean, this is such a great game. I'm so excited for the next one as well. I'm definitely gonna play that when it comes out. But let's take a look at the graphics options that I'm playing on here. So I'm gonna go down to settings and I'm going to go down to display and graphics and we are playing on low settings. So, you know, this game is, as with most of the games we're gonna look at today, just hard to run and probably will not crack 60 FPS. But a lot of people wanted to see how more modern games ran on the Steam Deck, so. In the last video, I went through a bunch of old 7th gen AAA games like Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, stuff like that. But in this video, I'm going to be going through more modern games like what we're playing right now, Spider-Man Remastered, which came out on PC this year. You know, the actual Spider-Man game hit PS4 in 2017 or 2018. I can't remember exactly which of those years it was, but it was one of those two. And I mean, here I am playing it on a handheld. This game is so fun, and even though we're only getting 30 FPS and that frame time graph is all over the place, it is still a very playable experience. I mean, I absolutely love this game. If you haven't played it yet, I really recommend picking it up and playing it. You know, it's not on Xbox, but it's on both PC and PlayStation, which means you can play it on the Steam Deck, you can play it on the PlayStation 4, you can play it on the PlayStation 5, you can play it on your PC. You have options now, which is absolutely incredible. So, I mean, this is probably the best superhero game that I have ever played. Now, I will say I've never played any of the Arkham games, so there is that. But, I mean, just swinging around through the city like I'm doing right now is just a blast. It's so much fun. And doing little spider tricks as I swing. So let's, uh, let's get down here on the ground, see if our performance changes. So when we're walking around, we're getting closer to 45 frames here down on the streets of New York City. But just out of curiosity, let's see what our frame rate looks like if we go up on top of a building. I'm gonna look for the tallest building in this area, which looks like that building over there. Oh, okay. I thought I did all the... I was pretty certain I 100%ed this game. I gotta remember how to play. Did that really miss? That's disappointing. Camera angles are a little goofy. I don't think I'd be able to get up and keep fighting after getting hit in the head with a cinder block. Not gonna lie. This should get him. Wait, there's still one more guy? Okay, there we go. I didn't expect to get into any combat in this video, so that's awesome. Now, as I was, I'm going to try to get on top of a tall building here. Um, still think it's that tower right there. That might be Avengers Tower. I can't exactly remember which tower that is. God, this game is so good. 
really is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I'm so excited for the next one. And Miles Morales should be hitting PC soon. And so will Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. Alright, I'm going to skip that. I want to get to the top of this tower to see what my frame rate looks like overlooking a majority of New York City. Because right now we're fluctuating between uh, 35 to 40 frames, it looks like. Oh, I saw 55 there for a second. All right. I don't think this is Avengers Tower. I will say running up buildings looks pretty bad on those settings. <laughs> There's like no definition to these uh, glass panes or whatever. I mean, it looks blurry. I mean, look at that. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but I mean, it is low settings. So, I mean, we're getting 60 FPS now, which is kind of nuts. So up on top of this building, looking down at New York City, it looks like we're getting about 30 frames. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit further down here. So we have less of the building on the screen and more of the city, yeah. So, I mean, this is just one of those games you're not going to get a consistent 60 FPS in. But the next one we... But the next game we're going to look at, you will get a consistent 60 FPS in. So let's go ahead and take a look at Doom Eternal. All right, guys, here we are in Doom Eternal. This is the next game we're going to take a look at. I am playing with a uh, mouse and keyboard because I'm not doing this with a controller. But let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, oops, that's the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and look at the settings that we're running at here. So uh, 16 by 10, 12, 80 by 800. And we are running on Ultra Settings. So it goes up to Ultra Nightmare. So this is like the medium of the road settings, but it's still Ultra, right? As you can see, I just completely forgot where to go, so. Yeah, my sensitivity definitely feels off. But you know what? This is still a really fun game, so I don't care. But where'd you go? Okay, I don't think I got the one behind me. Yeah, no, I took too long. Up some shotgun ammo here. My sensitivity is way too low. Yeah, okay. My sensitivity really is way too low for me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, this is running smooth as butter. Yeah, 60 FPS in Doom Eternal is a very different experience from how I played it, though. But still, on the Steam Deck, 60 FPS ultra settings on Doom Eternal is very impressive to me. I mean, this is a beyond playable experience. You know, if I took the time to adjust my sensitivity, I could probably play the whole game like this. I don't like how punches don't do damage, though. Get chainsawed, my guy! Haha! -ha. But I mean, Doom Eternal, uh, pretty smooth 60 FPS pretty much this entire time. I mean, that's just incredible. This thing is awesome, and you know, Doom Eternal is an extremely well-optimized game compared to uh, some of the other titles we're gonna take a look at today. But I mean, it's still very impressive to me. I'm gonna loot whatever else is down here. Is there armor down here? I don't think there is. There's another guy to shoot. Oh, and I'm already low on ammo, really? Oh, well, there's ammo right here. I forget, ammo's one of the first things you gotta upgrade in Doom Eternal because you don't get that much when you start. <clears throat> Don't care to read that. I've read it before. Kick down the door. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Uh, it says so. It shows, even though I have a mouse and keyboard plugged in, it's showing me console props. So it's R because it's the reload button to skip the cutscene. The first hell priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8 percent. I mean, look at the skyboxes in this game, man. It's so cool. I loved this game when it came out. It was so much fun. I mean, it still is so much fun. Like, I wish I could go back and play it for the first time again. I have to get the full auto mod. I really don't ever use that, so. Okay, how do I get, no, okay. What does that even say? Hold up arrow. Okay, to dismiss. Okay, it's not up arrow for me though on keyboard and mouse. 
God, okay, so yeah, that is a little annoying how even though I'm using mouse and keyboard, it's showing me controller prompts because I don't remember all the controls. But you know what? Still, the fact that I'm playing Doom Eternal at 60 FPS on this device is incredible to me. On ultra settings, like... <laughs> Tutorial message. Press B to close. Ooh, the music's picking up. Okay, it got behind me. I don't have any of the fancy double jumps or dashes yet. Bro, how did I miss both of those shots? <laughs> My sensitivity is just way too low, man. But still, I think I've played enough Doom Eternal for y'all to see that this game runs at a buttery smooth 60 FPS pretty much most of the time through action sequences. This is an amazing game, and you can totally play it in handheld mode as well, right, on the deck. Nothing's stopping you from playing like this. The only thing that's stopping me from playing like this is that I absolutely have abysmal aim with controller, and I just don't want to. But there was Doom Eternal, so let's move on to the next game. All right, next up we have Elden Ring. I'll go ahead and show you the settings we're playing at here. We're playing on medium settings. If I go into an advanced settings, this is what everything looks like here. So uh, medium settings on Elden Ring. And I will apologize in advance, I am very bad at this game. So get ready to watch me die, probably fighting the first thing that I come into contact with. Um, you know, I want to just set you guys up for disappointment, because I don't like Souls games, and uh, yeah. But I still want to see how this game runs. So it looks like we're getting around high 30s, which is nice. I want to fight something. This, I mean, this is a swamp. You're telling me there's not an enemy in the swamp in a Souls game? How do I run? B? That's so strange. That frame time graph is all over the place, which is kind of kind of wonky. <clears throat> yeah, there's got to be something to fight over here. Come on. Are you telling me there's all these ruins and not a single enemy in a Souls game? Is that grace that I see? No. I wonder what's in this church. Or not church necessarily, but building that kind of looks like a church. Where's the way in? Okay. I don't know what you are, but let's go. It's how do I dodge? I don't remember. I don't remember how to dodge. Oh goodness gracious. I can't see my health because of the performance stats. <laughs> Ow. Why he roll like that? Okay, I pressed the button too many times. There's quite a few of these guys. <laughs> Why is he doing cartwheels, man? Ow, 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 I can't move! Yeah, that was Elden Ring. <laughs> this is why I don't play these games. I just don't think they're fun, personally. That was a lot of things, bro, what? But um, let's move on to the next game. Feel free to rip me apart in the comics about how, in the comics, in the comments about how I need to get good because um, I won't ever try. <laughs> All right, next up we have Cyberpunk 2077. I'm running at a mixture of medium and low settings. As you can see here, ray tracing is obviously off and Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0 is set to balanced. And I'm getting about 30 to 45 frames here in Night City and Cyberpunk 2077. Which, you know, saying that Sinus is just absolutely incredible. The fact that this runs at all on a handheld just blows me away. So we're just going to walk around here in Night City. We'll do some driving as well. 
I want to try and get into some combat, but like I don't know where I'll be able to find a uh, fight. I was thinking there would be one down this alley, but I guess not. So I'm actually going to open up the map here and see if I can't find a uh, fight to get into, which there might be something right here. So I will drive to that location as well. So I'm obviously playing this with a uh, mouse and keyboard. Why are you all the way over there, bro? What are you doing? I will say that the uh, game did not remember my controls. It remembered my save for my gaming PC, but it did not remember my controls. So, and I don't really feel like changing them all. So if I'm a little off with my uh, reaction time to some things, that's why, because my controls are different. But still, I'm playing this with a mouse and keyboard because um, as you guys all saw in my last benchmark video, I cannot play shooters on controller. So now I'm just not going to. I found a USB-C dongle to plug in to get my mouse to connect and the keyboard that I'm using is a Bluetooth keyboard. So now I can benchmark Steam games with mouse and keyboard. What do we got going on here? There's a... Is this like a fight right here or something? How do I... Oh, my controls are so different. Are these guys too high level for me? I really hope not. I'm gonna save here just in case. I'm going for a uh, melee build, so let's just go in and... Oh, these people are too high level. Oh wait, maybe they're not. Heal V! Oh man, ow. Wow, that killed me fast. Okay, those guys might be too high level. No, no, I'm not gonna let them kill me. Yeah, well, they already killed me. I'm not gonna let them kill me again. I'm going in, I'm gonna do this, all right? I'm determined. Hi, you can see my reflection. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> all right, come on, I'm doing this, man. I'm gonna get my revenge. I think we'll jump over here and just start throwing a bunch of grenades. Whoa, where did that guy come from? Was he there the whole time? What? Come on, bro. I'm doing this, all right? I'm determined. I'm gonna kill these guys. This would be a lot easier on my gaming PC where I actually get like 100 FPS on ultra settings in Cyberpunk rather than 40 on low. But you know what? I'm gaming on a Steam Deck. What a mag dump to kill that guy. Okay. My crouch button is not my crouch button. Get out of there, V. All right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I think that's another one down. What in the world? Oh yeah, I forget this is Cyberpunk. They have like enhancements to their bodies. Dodge this, hacker. You absolute buffoon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm pressing the reload key that I usually use, but that's not bound for this game. Did I throw like a snapshot grenade to see where they are? Okay, there's one left. Ah, I did it. That is really hard with low frames. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, Cyberpunk 2077 is definitely playable, but as somebody who's used to, um, whoa, you caught on fire. Somebody who's used to playing this game or just like games in general, well above 40 frames per second, going down to 40 FPS makes combat difficult. Now I probably would have never been able to do that fight with um, controller, but because I have my mouse and keyboard hooked up, I was actually able to win a fight in Cyberpunk on the Steam Tech 
Which, you know, I died a couple times, and I, I will leave the deaths in. You know, I'm not afraid to show the gaming experience and its reality on the deck. But still, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 on a handheld. Absolutely incredible that this even works at all. The Switch can only dream of doing this. Which is why, if you're looking at getting the cheapest Steam Deck, or if you're looking at getting the Switch OLED, excuse me, cheapest Steam Deck is only $50 more, which is just absolutely insane. So let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, next up we have Days Gone. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, settings here. We're gonna move over to graphics and display. So we're playing at 1280 by 860 Hertz and the graphics are set to low. So let's go ahead and just see how this performs on the deck. The sensitivity for this game is actually super low, but here on low settings on the deck, we're actually getting pretty close to 60 frames, not quite 60 frames, but we are hovering around um, 39 to 50-ish, 55, 57 frames. So uh, this is very playable so far, just cruising around on uh, Deacon's bike. So I'm going to try to get into some combat against some uh, infected here. Uh, I was really hoping I would be able to see some in this area, but I guess not. I mean, there's a little town up here, so I bet I'll be able to find some in this area. Some buildings. Excuse the uh, footsteps and road noises, by the way. Upstairs neighbors are being loud, and drivers in a college town are also loud and obnoxious as well. So, I mean, it just is what it is. Uh, wow, really, there's nobody over here. That really surprises me. But we're cruising around 55-ish FPS, getting close to 60. Not quite there, but this is a very playable experience here on the Steam Deck at low settings here on Days Gone. Uh, I remember when this game came out on PlayStation. I bought it, and the entire time I was playing this game, I thought to myself, wow, this game would be much easier with a mouse and keyboard, which is how I'm playing it now. I am using a mouse and keyboard. The dongle for the mouse is right here, and the keyboard is just a Bluetooth keyboard, so I'm able to sync it up with the uh, Steam Deck without a dongle plugged into it. But, um, I mean, I just, I suck at aiming with controller, as you guys saw in my last benchmarking video. All right, there's definitely something in here. That sniper rifle seems overkill. I hear it. Is it upstairs? Is there an upstairs? That's gotta be upstairs. I hear some creepy crawly guy. Ah, here you are. It's lined up a headshot. I missed. I missed again. I missed again. Wow, maybe this game isn't easier with mouse. I can't freaking see my reticle. It's so small. There we go. We're not talking about it. <laughs> I mean, but Days Gone here on the deck seems to be running buttery smooth. I want to get into some more combat, but unfortunately, it does not look like I'm anywhere near anything of the uh, of the sorts. I'm kind of close to the end of the game. I've already finished this game, um, so I don't know why it put me back here, but you know, it did. But still, okay, here. We'll use my anti-material sniper rifle on this one zombie. Complete overkill. Oh, hello. I mean, I said I wanted combat, so we're getting some combat now. And there we go, day's gone. Uh, we're hovering pretty close to 60 FPS. Once again, this is low setting, so it's nothing super impressive. But still, this game running on the Steam Deck is really impressive to me personally because i mean this was a ps4 game and here it is on a handheld so you know that's just incredible to me but um yeah that stays gone low settings let's move on to the next game all right welcome to battlefield 5 here on the steam deck we are playing on uh mouse and keyboard because i don't want you guys to suffer through abysmal aim but we are on um, 1280 by 860 hertz, and we're playing with FSR set to max fidelity and the overall graphics preset set to medium. So pretty much everything is set to medium here on Battlefield 5 on the Steam Deck. And 
This is a game on the Frostbite engine, right? This is a modern day Battlefield game. I cannot test 2042 because 2042 just straight up won't work. But Battlefield 5 on this War Story seems to be running really, really well at around 30 to uh, 40 something FPS, which is just very impressive to me, you know. I never thought I'd be able to play a modern day Battlefield game on a handheld, but here I am doing just that on the Steam Deck. So, I mean, that's just very impressive to me. I'm not going to bother stealthing this. I know that's something you can do. But I just want to get into some combat here to take a look at the uh, performance while under fire. I bet there's people in that little building right there. I haven't played these in a long time, pretty much since Battlefield Five came out. Ooh. Hold on, what is that? It's a new gun. Okay. We're going to go ahead and head down here. Once again, I'm not going to bother with stealth. That's a lot of damage. Oof. Reinforcements incoming. You know what? I don't care. I will say visibility is limited at best here on the deck. Small screen, lower frames than I'm used to playing at. It is very much hard to see enemies. But um, what I am playing a little further away than what you would normally play at holding the deck. So there is that as well. Where did you go? See that. I'm running out of bullets. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. We're good. We're chilling. Oh no. I don't have any bullets in that gun. I'm at six health. Yikes, that was close. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. This is actually a lot of fun. This runs surprisingly well on the deck. You know, I wouldn't personally play Battlefield at 45 frames online, but for the war stories, this is more than playable. What do we got here? I straight up can't see that. Sticky dynamite, sure. I don't know what exactly I need to blow up, but I will blow whatever it is up. I only got 16 bullets for this gun. I need to go pick up ammo from the soldiers that I killed. So what am I supposed to blow up? I guess this over here.
Okay, yeah, I guess I was supposed to blow that up. Nice, nice. All right, so that was Battlefield Five on the Steam Deck. Um, I think this runs surprisingly well at medium settings. So, I mean, this is a very playable experience. As you saw, I was able to hold up some combat there on Battlefield Five on the deck, you know, and it runs very, very well. This is honestly very playable. I wouldn't recommend playing this online because in a game like Battlefield, you want to try to get as many frames as you can to win games. Um, but the War Stories at, um, you know, 30 to 45-ish frames run very well. So this is very playable. So let's move on to the next game. All right, next up we have Shadow Warrior 3, which appears to be running at only 1280, and I'll show you here in the settings. Uh, this game will not run at the actual resolution of the Steam Deck, so it runs at 1280 by 720, 4x3, full screen on medium settings here on the Steam Deck, but with those settings, it seems to run smooth as butter. I kind of forgot where in the story I am with this game. I stopped playing a while ago, but it is a really good game, so I don't really necessarily remember why I never picked it back up. But uh, yeah, I guess I just never had picked it back up. I can't make it up there, what in the world? Okay, yeah, I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to go. Parkour along there. Oh, uh, how do I do that again? E? Okay, yeah. Hold space, parkour along here. Climb up this. And look at that, perfect, there's some combat right here. I don't know what the heck that thing is. That is a new enemy. Hopefully I don't suck completely, but we're playing medium settings here on the Steam Deck. I can't, no, I can't get up to that thing to press Q. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Some Doom Eternal style takedowns. Take him out with a rail gun. Ooh, I'm a little rusty here. The takedowns are so funny. Not talking about it. Run across this box. Excuse me, sir. Trying to get that health. Goodness gracious. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're staying alive. There we go, took him out.
I hate those like mask face things. I remember they're kind of a pain to take out. The game's starting to come back to me. Shoot those guys when they open up their like little mouth thing. I didn't kill it? Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Come on, buddy, open up. I gotta damage those crystals in the back of you. That's probably what it is. Come on, bro. You are a bullet sponge. I did not want to pick up that health. Okay, I got that one. There we go. We're chilling. Absolutely chill. Oh, hello. Come on, open your mouth. Got him. That's how we do it, boys. I didn't hit him. That was a horrible shot. There we go. That's how we do it. Right, that ha there's still one more guy left. Come on. There's no way. Mr. Uh, Monkey Man right here. Oof. Big boy spawns. Oh, goodness gracious. Which way am I going here? Ow. That is not good. Just like Doom Eternal. Uh-oh. Climb the wall! Whew. We're doing good, we're doing good. I'm so invested in this fight, even though I'm going to uninstall this game on the Steam Deck immediately after finishing this. Those big boys hurt quite a lot. Uh-oh. This might be it. Yep, that was it. Ah, oh, man, that was tough. That was a lot of things. Shadow Warrior 3 on the Steam Deck running at around medium settings, getting between 40 and 60 frames. Very playable experience. I had a lot of fun right there. Let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, next up we have Horizon Zero Dawn. Excuse my dog if you can hear her eating in the background. She's hovering around her food bowl, which means she's probably about to start eating. But this is Horizon Zero Dawn running on the Steam Deck. We're getting about 45 frames per second here in, uh, is this Meridian? Uh, I can't remember what city this is. Uh, as you can see, I've played through all of the game pretty much already here on a PC. But um, my save carried over just fine from my gaming PC to the Steam Deck. And the settings that we're running here are uh, 1280 by 800, 60 hertz under display and graphics is set to favor performance, which puts pretty much everything on low. 
but this is a very playable experience so far from what I can tell. So we are actually going to fast travel out of the city and away from my objective and towards a campfire here and see if we can't get into any combat. So I will see you guys once we get to the campfire, which actually looks like it's gonna load so fast I don't need to cut anything. Nice, all right. So I haven't played this in a hot minute, so I apologize if I'm bad. And wow, 17 frames per second. Okay. So aiming in at a creature really just affected that frame time graph. I don't know what you are. I am not doing that much damage to this thing. Oh wait, I have to shoot the back of you. You have canisters on your back. How do I play? I forgot. What are my controls? What is the dodge button? How do I heal? Oh gosh, oh heck, oh frames, oh no. This is going very poorly. <laughs> I maybe should have looked at my controls before doing this. Ow, okay, seriously though, how do I control? I'm just gonna press up on the D-pad. Okay, that healed me. I do not remember how to heal. There is a big bird chasing after me. Ow. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. There we go. See, we came back, nothing to worry about. Had that all under control. <laughs> But that was just a little bit of gameplay here in Horizon Zero Dawn. I believe this game also has a benchmark, so I'm actually going to run that to see what performance would be like. But I need to replay this game. I completed Forbidden West on my PS5, but this game is a lot of fun. And it's much easier to play on PC. All I have to do is remember my controls. But uh, let's go ahead and run the in-game benchmark for Horizon Zero Dawn to get some actual good numbers to look at. Apologies once again if you can hear my dog in the background, but here is the in-game benchmark for Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm seeing some pretty severe spikes in that frame time graph as we pan along the cityscape. I believe this was actually the city that I was in on the game as well. I believe this is Meridian, but I honestly, I can't remember the name of the city because I haven't played this game since it hit PC. I really hope Forbidden West comes out on PC too, because aiming is so much easier with mouse and keyboard than it is with controller for me. <laughs> but it seems like we're hovering around like 40 frames, which is honestly really impressive for a game like this, right? I mean, this game was on the PS4, and here it is on the Steam Deck, running at 46 frames in the benchmark in this uh, very populated city. So we are seeing some, we are seeing some drops down to the 30s, though. So you know. That is unfortunately a part of it. But as we pan up to the sky, the FPS gets higher because there's less stuff to render, right? The frame time graph has stabilized a little bit. It's not as smooth as some of the other games we've tested on this channel, especially some of the games we tested in the last video. Which, by the way, thank you guys so much for all the support on that last benchmark video. I did not expect it to get as many views as it did. That was crazy. Really appreciate it. Sixty F. Oh, we're hitting sixty, and there's the giant monolith from the end of the game. How long is this benchmark? Because I don't know. Seems like we're going in circles. <laughs> okay, this has to be the end of it, right? Leaving the town that we entered? No, it's not over yet? Bruh, okay. Well, I'm gonna just let the rest of it play out, I guess. <laughs>
Okay, it looks like the benchmark has completed and we have an average FPS of 50 with a max of 107 and a minimum of seven. Um, so yeah, it looks like Horizon Zero Dawn is a very playable experience on the Steam Deck. If you're willing to deal with, you know, 45 to 50 frames and all you have to do is limit your refresh rate to uh, 40 or 50 and you can have a very comfortable experience playing Horizon Zero Dawn on the deck. So let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, next up we have Metro Exodus. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the settings that we're playing on here. Um, video, I'm on the low preset, V-Sync is off, and 1280 by 800. So let's go ahead and see how this game performs. I gotta turn up my sensitivity, this is stupid low. That's a little better. This game's actually running pretty well so far. Honestly, a lot better than I thought it would. Now oh, my controls are unbound. Ugh. I also had to start a new save, as you can see. This is the very beginning of the game. Ow. Stop it. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that was honestly a pretty easy fight. This game is super dark. There we go. You guys can see it a little better now. Sorry about that. I mean, this is running very well. 45 to 60 FPS on uh, the settings that we're playing on on Metro Exodus is very impressive. I expected this to run a lot worse than it is to be completely honest. This is a very playable experience. Now the frames do dip out here in the more open environment. So um, this is more of the performance you'll probably see in the game. But granted, this is more cluttered than a lot of the open environments that you will play in. All right. I am going to shoot at them just to get into a little bit of combat before um, I probably die here. <laughs> and I am out of bullets. All right, let's move it. Anna or whatever your name is. Serpentine, Serpentine, whatever. Come on, bruh. Oh, she's taking her sweet time. I do think this is enough for Metro Exodus, honestly. So yeah, Metro Exodus running at low settings, 30 to 60 frames during combat, it hovered around 45. Very playable experience. And obviously, if you wanna play it with the Dex built-in controls, you can. I just prefer mouse and keyboard because I can't aim to save my life with controller. So let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, next up we have Dying Light 2. This is going to be the last game that I take a look at here today because I want to make these videos a little bit shorter because the last one literally took me a whole week to get out, and I don't want that to be the case with this one. But here we are, video, we're playing with FSR 2 quality, and if I go to advanced graphic settings, I'm running at a mixture of medium and low. So those are the uh, settings I'm playing at here in Dying Light 2, so let's get into the gameplay. I haven't played this game in a while. I finished it and haven't touched it since I beat the game. So, um, kind of forgot what there is to do, but I'm sure I can find some shenanigans to get into for this video. It is an open world. Oh, already. How do I throw stuff again? Middle mouse button? No. 
Where did my main man go, bro? What's the throwing button? Is it T? I don't remember the controls. Oh my goodness gracious, he went flying. I can kick people with T, right? I really forgot how to play this game. Okay, okay, just back up. Okay, ow, that's not what I said. I said back up. Okay, my guy. I don't remember the controls. How do I, uh... How do I kick? Okay, it's E. I'm going back to that fight. Oh goodness gracious, there is quite a few of them. I can't see my health because of all that performance stat stuff. It is in the way. I'm going to assume these guys can't parkour, right? How do I swap weapons? I really don't remember how to play this. Ow. Whoa, did I just like double jump? What in the world? Oh, I forgot to take out how to take out the paraglider. Oh no. Gerard was a great man. Gerard was a great man. There we go, there's a kill. See, there we go. I'm, I'm remembering how to play. You just got infected. That's unfortunate. Goodness gracious me. There was a lot happening. What is that? That's a big boy. No thanks. No thank you. I would rather just not... I thought there was a bow and arrow in this game. I guess I don't have it equipped. What is this? Whoa! How do I take out the hang glider thing? I don't remember. This is what happens when you don't play a game for a long time. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Okay, that's fun. Why'd the music pick up? You a bad guy? No, you're not. Very confused. Yeah, but this is a very playable experience. That frame time graph is super smooth. Dying Light 2 is running at an almost consistent 45 frames, which you know on the Steam Deck is plenty, and you don't have to play with a mouse and keyboard like I am. You can always use the built-in Steam Deck controls. But I just prefer to play games with keyboard and mouse for the sake of testing them at least. But I'm actually playing the Steam Deck by myself for the purposes of just playing it and not recording a video. I don't use mouse and keyboard because you guys can't judge my abysmal aim with controller if you can't see it. <laughs> I mean, you still could judge my aim, you know? I, mean, I don't really care, to be honest. I don't know any of you. You don't know me. Unless you're actually like one of my IRL friends who watches my channel, because I know there are a couple of you. In which case, you do know me. I know as soon as I upload this video, my buddy Jacob is going to just tell me to get good at Elden Ring, but I simply just don't care enough. Oh, more bandits? No, these are all zombies. I could have done some epic jump moves there. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I don't want to stick around for that big boy to eat me alive. Wow, that was really bad. This is running so much better than I ever thought it would on the Steam Deck. Like, it's honestly blowing me away. <laughs> this game was so good. I need to replay this too, man. There's so many games that I want to play again. 
I've been putting a lot of time into Overwatch 2, which unfortunately I do not know how to get working on the Steam Deck. If I can figure it out, I'll definitely benchmark it. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying Overwatch 2. I don't think it should be called Overwatch 2. It's more like a Overwatch 1.5 because that PvE game I was not here yet. But, uh, you know, once it hits, then I will believe the game would be more deserving of the title Overwatch 2. It's just uh, not quite there. I'm killing friendlies, I just realized. Oops. Look, I'll just kill everybody, no witnesses. But I'm sorry, I didn't mean to attack you guys. Couldn't really tell who was who. Ow. Okay, he swung twice. Didn't expect that. Look, man, I didn't mean to make you guys mad. But now I have to kill you all. No witnesses. You know, how it is in the apocalypse. Oh, that weapon broke? I knew I had a bow. Yeah, there we go. All right, but there was Dying Light 2 on the uh, Steam Deck. Ran very well, much better than I thought it would. Very playable experience, hovering around 40 frames. Hi, Editing Release Radar here. My phone died literally right there in that video, so I'm just going to record my outro here with my face cam. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. I really hope you found it helpful. That was a test of more modern AAA games. I said that I wanted to try and make the video shorter, but because of how long I test each game, this video is going to be about an hour long. But I hope you find this all helpful, and I hope this helps you uh, just with your research on how games will perform on the Steam Deck when you eventually get your hands on one. Or if you have your hands on one, you know, for me, I like to look at how games that I own would perform rather than just testing it myself. Because it is faster to just look it up than download the whole game, load into the game, tinker with settings. It's just sometimes faster to have somebody else do all the work, right? So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for all the support recently. We just got partnered on this channel, and it honestly means the world to me. You guys are awesome, and more videos are on the way soon. So once again, thank you for watching. My name is Release Radar, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.